Star Curtain was, was another uh, experiment that just I made into an extended film. Uh, and I shot whole rolls of paint. And, and meanwhile, I, I did some painting on footage. So I, sh I projected that on my wife's body and filmed it. Um, and, and other things like that. Um, these are all, there was a lot of sexuality in, in these films. And there was in the period, it was the beginning of the sexual revolution as well, and also of a revolution in, in censorship, uh, where, it's, and, you, and you saw this in the movies around midnight, the risk, more and more risque footage was being seen. And at some point, pu pubic hair began to be seen, which was amazing at the time. Um, these were very nice films, though, at that point. It was, it was, it was, I shouldn't be called porn. It was, it was uh, sensual, sensual going to the next step. At the same time, though, the Beatles were, were coming out. Uh, Dylan was beginning to be heard. The whole, there was a whole, um, the new age, the, the 60s was beginning, 64, 65. Um, so I got a porn film from a, from a place that was very um, um, low-key porn. I mean, it's just a woman with breasts or something. Put that in, and shot off my movie scope. I have a four-frame thing and other experiments like that, but very casual, very Warhol. Just do a, you know, and I shot it all in a week. I had to have six rolls, just cut the rolls together, uh, basically. And that was the original Star Curtain. At, at, by this point, the, the experimental film was beginning to really blossom. And uh, I think it was 66 that Warhol finally made Chelsea Girls. And that had a big run. Uh, and, um, and about this time, uh, the Cinematheque 16, I think it was 66, was founded in, in a strip. And the strip was becoming a really big acid thing with, uh, and there were hippies now, strippies and so on. The, and uh, at this point, I was also following the UCLA screenings, the student screenings, and the films were beginning to reflect this. And I have one of, I have preserved one of these films, Felix Venable's Les Anges Dormans, LSD and Code, which is a couple, him and his old lady, and they have an acid trip, and he cuts from black and white to color. And uh, that's a very important film, actually. Um, I think it's the first time acid was really uh, dealt with. I, and I have a, I have a, just to her, I got me a print of that, and the film itself is lost. Felix Venable, I think it's 65.